Uh, so good day again, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, today, I have with me Laura Nash. Laura is a certified financial planner professional. She serves families, business owners, and especially women in transition. So she helps her clients develop personalized financial plans, a balanced investment strategy, and provides financial education. She earned her BA and MBA from George Washington University, and with her broad background and purpose-driven approach to wealth management, she is passionate about helping her clients maximize their assets and financial well-being. So Laura, I am so delighted to be here today. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here too. It's good to see yeah. you. Great. Well, um, let's jump right in. Tell us a little bit about West Financial Services. Sure. So West Financial Services has been around for about 40 years. We serve clients all across the United States. And we provide investment management, financial planning, as well as retirement plan consulting. Wonderful. Thank you. So as you know, my audience um, is a lot of professionals, especially people who are in the law industry or who own their own law firms. Um, so with a little bit of that in mind, why would we, why would we hire a financial advisor uh, to begin with? Sure. So just like you can look on the internet and figure out how to do a lot of things yourself, sometimes you want someone with expertise to help you, especially when it comes to your finances. So for a owner of a law firm, whether it's a solo practice or they have multiple employees, it's really important to not only think about your business, um, growing your practice, taking care of your employees if you have them, but also your family um, and your, your personal life. So often I see business owners in general just put everything into their business and they will postpone investing in their future and planning for their own um, personal finances. And unfortunately, things don't always work out the way that we hope they will be. And as someone has once said, you know, hope is not a strategy. So it's important to have a financial plan. Oh, so true. Absolutely. Um, and I know as a business owner myself, sometimes we do. We work, we help other people with their businesses, but sometimes we'll fall behind on ours. What are some of those like key wake up calls or um, yellow flags, if you will, that would say, hey, I need to call a financial advisor? Sure. So... One reason may be that you're starting up a business, you're putting, you know, all these procedures and, you know, various items in place. And, you know, you want to make sure, for instance, that you're planning for the expected. So again, not only for your business, but also for your family. You know, if you have children, you want to think about college and how you're going to pay for that. You may want to think about the future as far as retirement goes, how you're going to invest your money, not only in the short term, but the long term, even for a business owner who may have a large cash reserve in order to keep their business growing. They also want to think about what is the best way to invest that money. Although interest rates are excellent right now um, at many banks. It's not always going to be that way. So you may also utilize a financial advisor to help you figure out how best to manage those assets, even for your business, to make sure that you're maximizing value. Yeah, wonderful. And I see you have an MBA, like I said before, and that's always interesting to me. So is this finance, has this been a passion for your of yours your whole life, or is this something that you had an experience or an epiphany and went into? Yeah, so it was not a passion of mine my whole life. Um, when I was growing up, I was taught to work hard, make money, spend money because you can make more money. And so I was never really taught about saving and investing. And as my family has grown um, over the years and my kids have gotten older, I had a financial advisor and I had my own business um, many years ago as well, but I found that once I sold my business, even though I had a financial advisor, I wasn't getting really good advice and I wasn't quite sure about my path forward as far as my finances go. I was stressed out. 
And as I started learning more about financial planning and it made me feel so much better about my own finances, that's when I really had the epiphany that this is what I want to do now because I'm not the only one struggling with figuring out my own finances. Oh, I see that. So it sounds like maybe family really came in there and you said, hey, what's going on? Or I do need to have this incentive to to get this get this right. Tell me a little bit about your kids. I know you have three kids. Yes, yes. So my two oldest, my two daughters both live in New York City. Oh. They are living the life. Um, they live near each other, not together, um, as many people will ask, but they get along really well. Um, the oldest is a social worker at NYU Hospital. My middle daughter is in marketing for a health media company, and my son's going to be a junior at the University of Maryland in College Park. Oh, nice. Okay. So you had two that took off for New York and one staying closer <laughs> to home. Exactly. At least for now. We'll see what happens once he graduates. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. And what other kind of things light you up? So I recently adopted a cat. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know that's dear to your heart. <laughs> so that was quite the process. Um, some, you know, animal foster um, organizations take you through a rigorous process of checking references and all these other things. Um, I wound up just going to the DC Humane Society and I saw this cute little gray cat um, in one of the, um, I don't know, for lack of a better term, I guess, cages. And um, she was just very sweet and friendly. And so I decided to adopt her. So her name is Gracie. We've been having a lot of fun and um, she definitely makes me laugh. And someone gave me advice that you should get a cat that matches your furniture so that you don't see a lot of cat hair. So I did get a gray cat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you were deciding on a name last time we talked. So Gracie is absolutely precious. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. What other kind of fun stuff do you do outside of work? So I really like to stay active. I started playing pickleball last year, so I've definitely caught the fever and I play once or twice a week. So that's been a lot of fun and a great way to meet new people. I also took up golf this year. So I've been playing golf. There's a number of different um, networking groups where you can easily join and people are patient with us newbies so that's been a lot of fun and you know just trying new restaurants in the DC area as well um it keeps me busy oh great yeah I know DC has really taken off for culinary adventures in the last uh last 10 years or so, so yeah I'm, I'm right there with you um, <laughs> Yeah, and we're, we're past, I think we're a little bit hot right now for rooftop dining season, but that is quite fun in the springtime. Yes, yes. I went to a happy hour yesterday. We were supposed to be up on the rooftop, but it was raining. So oh. it wasn't just the heat, but the rain um, kept us inside. So maybe next year. Of course, of course. Always additional opportunities. Um, yeah. Um, so what other things should we be looking for in knowing we should find should should hire a financial professional and then like what should we be going as far as picking which financial professional we want to work with so i definitely recommend having some type of retirement plan um and there's many choices especially for those owners or lawyers even solo practitioners who are making a lot of money, there's some great avenues for saving that money for the future, whether it's a solo 401k, uh, 401k, if you have multiple employees, there's just lots of options. So I would certainly recommend setting up a retirement plan based on your needs as well as your employees. I would also like to suggest that you plan for the unexpected. So having insurance, um, many solo entrepreneurs will have um, life insurance. They'll have um, key person insurance for key employees if they do have employees. 
So absolutely having um, life insurance as well as a plan that if something does happen, who will run your practice? Who will take care of your clients? Really important to think about those things. Um, we never expect, of course, that anything's going to happen to us tomorrow, but you just never know. So it's just super important to be prepared for those types of things, um, as well as having an emergency fund, if um, whether for the business or for personal needs. So those are a few things that I would suggest. As far as what to look for in a financial advisor, um, someone who has credentials, um, someone who is a CFP, Certified Financial Planner, is very important. We go through um, an extensive education program. Only about 60% of those who take the CFP exam pass it. So it's quite a rigorous exam. I'm sure just like taking the bar. Oh. So that is one credential um, to look for. Um, of course, experience. And what type of advisor are they? There are people that sell insurance primarily who may also do investments. Um, there are people that provide investments but also do some insurance. So remember, just like someone building your house, you don't want just a carpenter because you don't want your, the carpenter to do your plumbing. So you want someone who does have a broad range, so to speak, of um, investments to be able to offer you. A lot of people hear the term fiduciary, which is thrown around a lot. And basically, um, just like with a lawyer um, or an attorney, it means doing what's in the best interest of the client. So when you're working with a financial advisor who is fee only, it basically means that it doesn't matter what they recommend to you, they are getting paid the same. So there's no bias towards recommending anything specific because they're going to make the same amount of money. So that's an important distinction as well. That makes a lot of sense. That does. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so wonderful. Um, any travel plans for the summer? So my parents live near Atlantic City. Oh, okay. And um, it's not my favorite place, but i um, going to go with my mother to the um, Hard Rock Casino. Not that I gamble, but it's just a fun place to be and it's something she likes. So that's something we're going to do for her birthday. And other than that, I'm staying local this summer and just enjoying playing pickleball and getting out on the golf course. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah, I like the um, entertainment at the casinos. So yes. I took my dad to see Jay Leno um, a couple of years ago, and it's it's great that they can um, afford to bring big acts, <laughs> big acts yeah. to small areas. <laughs> so. Yes, that must have been a wonderful show. It was. It was great, and it wasn't hard to get really good seats, and um, it was that was a lot. That was a lot of fun, and definitely something that. Um, an experience an experience yeah. to um, it is an experience a great place to people watch <laughs> <laughs> yes yes absolutely and just sort of the the excitement and the excitement yes air. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes all those bells going off right on the slot machine right. <laughs> yes oh wonderful okay. Um, so I just want to thank you so much for coming and talking with me today and sharing some additional information um, about what you do and about financial planning and how it is beneficial to small businesses and uh, law firms like the ones that I work with uh, planning ahead. So just a, a, another little hammering that it's like plan for the plan for the expected plan for the unexpected, and the unexpected might be might be wonderful. You know, it might be you get an opportunity to. I don't know, do an amazing round the world trip or something. And so having that money in your reserves is, would be, would be wonderful. Um, and so I just, I love to end on that positive note of, Hey, you know what, planning for planning and putting some money aside um, for, for the unexpected might also be, might also be a wonderful, um, happy possibility. So definitely. Um, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you again. And uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Sounds good. Bye-bye.